Hi, this is Joy, and today I'm going to show you how to make the pop-up part of this cute card. Um, I had a lot of fun with this dog card. He, this dog in, in all his pieces are from the new Cricut Everyday Cards cartridge, and they're, you know, am I telling you the right name? Everyday Pop-up Cards. Um, cartridge. Yeah, Everyday Pop-up Cards cartridge. And there's so many cute little animals and things on here with sayings and whatnot. But what's kind of befuddled people is they've got a pop-up section, and for each card, they actually have two different pop-ups. Um, most of the um, shift pop-ups are a standard um, uh, word pop-up that's pretty easy to fold and mount into the center line. And I'll do a, I'll do a project showing that um, next time. But in fact, on Monday for you guys, um, if you're tuning in sometime after that, you know, take a look on the YouTube for it. Um, and then this first pop-up usually has something a little bit different. We're not sure what's going on there. There are all kinds of unusual things. So I chose this dog card. He's going to pop up in the center. And so here's my card. And when I open it, there's my dog. So I put these pop dot eyes on, you know, these wiggle eyes. I'm not sure if that was a good move overall, but it's already so thick. It's kind of, I've already put a lot of stuff on here. So I thought, what's one more thing? But anyway, that's how he pops up. And I'm going to show you a sample of, you know, using some different colors of exactly how to do this. Um, so there you go. Now let's get to making our pop-up section. This is going to be the dog card and there's two pop-ups you can do. One has a dog and it's going to go in a circular shape and one is kind of a standard pop-up with words. I chose to do the dog because it's going to be a little bit more unusual and let me just show you how to do it. It's very easy. Now these are not the colors I used for my card. I'm just showing you now so that you have an, you can really see it in the screen. Now I cut this card. This is the card for the dog. And this is um, everyday pop-up cards, of course. And I cut that at six inches, and then I'm gonna cut my pop-up at five and a half. You always wanna cut it shorter, smaller than the card itself, okay? Now, here's our, here's our pop-up. And you might be saying, well, first of all, I don't want a pink dog, and blah, 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 or if I cut this as grass, I don't want a green dog. Well, that's okay, I'll show you, show you what you can do about that. But in the meantime, now what you'll see on here, and you can't see it at all on the camera, but you will when you go ahead and cut this, there are the tiniest, itsy bitsy little score lines. There's one here, there's one here, there's one down the center of the dog here, there's one there, um, here, and then we're gonna, of course, these are gonna be the tabs that hold it down. Do they say over here, here too? So, you have to really look closely at these because they're not like the big honking score lines they typically have on these things. They're pretty small, but they will help you help to guide you on how to fold this. So let me go ahead and score that. Okay, I've gone ahead and scored the dog and you can see down the center, here's another score line. These two flaps, that's how we're gonna attach it to the card. And then I've got a score line here. And that is it. Is that it? One more. See, you gotta look really closely. Okay, so here's our last one. All right, so we're gonna stick these two ends together, like so, and I'm just gonna stick it with some ATG gun. When I really get to doing this, I'm probably gonna use some red line tape, but I'm just showing you how to do it and getting it lined up. So I'm probably gonna come back in here and use some stronger tape. This is just to get it so we can start doing something with it. Okay, so now we have a little circle. And you'll notice it folds. Woohoo! Oops, get back in there. Okay, so it folds, and you can see that. Okay, so here's our card. And we're going to want the dog to face forward. So if this is the bottom of the card, we want people to be able to see them like that. So you can see, all you need to really do is line up center line of the dog and the back end with the center line of your card, and then stick that down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna use, again, I'm using the ATG gun because I want to, I'll have to come back in with my red line tape. I just wanna make sure it's really gonna fold nicely and everything else. Okay, so, oops, let's not stick it too soon. Okay, all right, so we're back. Dog's gonna to go to the front and I'm gonna line up the center line so you can see where it's folded. That's what I want in the center line of my card. 
Okay. Now you can make it wider if you wanted. I wouldn't make it too wide, but and I, I I'm centering it from top to bottom too. Okay. So now it's stuck down. So you see? And then we go to shut it. Score! And that's how you do it. Okay? Easy, huh? Okay, so you saw the pink section and you saw how I went ahead and folded the dog like that. And you're probably thinking, I don't want a pink dog, I don't want pink grass. Well, that's really easy to fix. All you do is cut the image two times. So I cut it in green and then I also cut it in brown. And then I just sort of cut his little feet off and glued him on. And he's going to be a little thicker here, and you can kind of see some wearing. He's going to be thicker in the center. Probably should use thicker cardstock, but you can still get him to fold nicely. So you see? There you go. So you don't have to just keep it the same color it was. You can go ahead and change out the animal pretty easily. I mean, I just adhered him to the, to the green part, but it was, it was pretty fast. So there you go. And then on this card, since it was red, I went ahead and I, of course, laid this down first. So hope that helps you guys with your pop-up cards. Take care.